An incredibly emotional day at the Montgomery County Courthouse. That's where a judge announced sentencing for Donald Wayne Bricker, the man who ruthlessly murdered his ex-girlfriend in the parking lot of a Target store last year. WUSA 9's Evan Kosloff was in the courtroom today. He reports Bricker will now spend the rest of his life behind bars. Her name is Shade Marie Adebayo. She was just 24 years old, a recent graduate of UMD, when she was abruptly taken on June 1st of last year. Now the family is receiving some closure and justice. The love that you have nourished somebody for 24 years, it never goes away. The words of a grieving mother, Cassandra Atkins, testified in front of a judge on Thursday, saying she was tired and pain, swimming in what she called an ocean of sadness and frustration, all in the memory of her daughter, Shade Maria DeBio, gunned down at just 24 years old. But now she can rest a little easier, knowing that the man responsible for her death is being locked up forever. I know it's not going to bring Shadi Marie back, but this is the start for everybody. It's the closure. The killer's name was Donald Bricker Jr. He was Shadi's ex-boyfriend. And on a rainy June day in 2015, he convinced her to meet him at a crowded Target parking lot in Germantown. It was there that he shot her twice taking her life. Today's sister, Tiffany Adakora, says she'll never forget the pain she felt on that day. My heart hurt. I felt I was going to fall and have a heart attack. To hear the words, your sister's in the hospital, she's been gunned down. That was it for me. But amidst all this sadness, the family is trying to remember Shade's forever hopeful personality, as she might say, smile, even on your darkest days. I just know she's there with me at all times. Also speaking at the press conference today was State's Attorney John McCarthy, who urged the family to use that grief and turn it into action. He said that the shooting was done with a black powder replica gun purchased online. He called that a loophole, which he urged the family to help close. Reporting here in Montgomery County, Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.